Bonnie, we were talking at the top of the half hour about the extraordinary looks inside the body that you can get with new machinery that is used for medical diagnosis. But what if you could find out right now that you might be one day diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, such as heart disease or cancer, and you could find out by taking a painless 15-minute medical exam? Our Antonio Mora recently looked into a startling new procedure that some feel will change the very future of medicine, and he discovered something surprising about his own health. Imagine looking inside yourself and seeing your heart with all its chambers and arteries, your stomach outside and in, your spinal cord vertebra by vertebra, all in living, breathing 3D. Science fiction? Not anymore. These are real pictures of the inside of my body. I want you to put your hands right here on the side. They were taken in about 15 minutes by an electron beam computed tomography machine, a high-speed CAT scan. All right, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Tyler. The information is then translated into 3D images by state-of-the-art software developed by the HealthView Center for Preventive Medicine in Newport Beach, California. Every day. Betty Kelepez, the first woman commander at the Los Angeles Police Department, came to HealthView last fall. The LAPD actively promotes the scans in hopes of catching disease early, saving money on health insurance. I had come in because my father had heart problems, and I was really looking to see if I had the same problem my father had. He had a bypass when he was early 50s, late 40s. And I expected to see some problems with my heart because in my environment and my work, stress is something we live with daily, and I was certain my heart was probably feeling it. Her heart was fine. Her right kidney was another matter. The radiologist saw something suspicious. He says, I don't think these are kidney stones. Um, this looks like you have some sort of mass in your right kidney. How did you react when he said that? I, I, you know how you, your, your heart starts beating and you start to flush and you start to think mass means tumor means cancer. In Betty's case, it did. A urologist's further tests confirmed it. The first thing he did when he walked in was said, Betty, you are one lucky woman. How did you find out about this? And I said, well, why am I lucky? And what did we find out about it? And he said, you know, you have kidney cancer. And you're lucky because I think it's stage one. The health view scan may have saved Betty's life. So I was curious, but also a bit apprehensive about what it would find in me. We're going to take the tour now. We're going to really take a very detailed tour through your entire body. Dr. Harvey Eisenberg, a former professor of radiology at UCLA, Stanford, and Harvard, is the brains behind HealthView. I'm going to explain as we go through the body what we're looking for, uh, point out abnormalities, and explain what they mean. At first, as his computer dissected my body's tissues millimeter by millimeter, everything looked mostly healthy. Uh, the anatomy of the kidneys appears normal. There's no masses. There's no evidence of stones, and this is your prostate gland. Um, the prostate looks entirely normal. Uh, this is the liver, which appears normal. Uh, in front of the liver, we have the stomach. So looking. you're literally opening up the stomach as we right. to look inside it? Yes, so this is what we call virtual gastroscopy. So, and again, we don't see any evidence of a tumor or an ulceration or polyps uh, developing inside the stomach. Uh, and there's no evidence of any problems developing in the spinal cord. No problems until we got to my heart. The ventricle and the aorta are this structure here and here. As he worked his way through the heart, he was mostly looking for arteriosclerosis, marked by the hardened fat and calcium called plaque, the main cause of heart attacks. And he found some in my left anterior descending artery. And right at this bending point in the artery, we are seeing actually some plaque formation. Do you see this bright white formation here? When compared to others on his database, the good news is that I have an average amount of plaque for someone my age. Unfortunately, that's the bad news too. In fact, you don't want to be an average American male or female with this disease. That's not where you want to be because this is our number one killer disease of men and women. Using his software and high-tech scanner to prevent disease is Dr. Eisenberg's mission. People don't make changes in their lives unless they want to. And our job here is to really make it apparent to you that you really want to do this. Especially smokers. Compare my fairly healthy sponge-like lungs to these of a woman in her late 50s, blackened, almost destroyed by tobacco use. If you go to courses 
to stop smoking, very often they'll show people autopsy lungs and say, look what smoking does to a lung. And a very large percentage of those people sit back and say, that's not me, that's somebody else. Here, it's really inescapable. And so when we show people the actual destructive effects that they're producing on their body, it usually has a very profound effect. We've pulled Antonio away from the news desk, and Dr. Tim Johnson is also with us. So what do you do about that, uh, that well, he, he's He's very insistent. You have to go to your internist. You have to review the findings. He wants me to go to a nutritionist, which I have a terrible diet, so I have to deal with that. He wants me to, I should look into whether I should have a stress test, because even though this shows the plaque, it can't really tell you whether you're really blocked or not. And uh, he says, I need to manage stress better. But I've got to tell you, after seeing this stuff, I immediately have started eating better. <laughs> it shocked me into that.